in God we trust. May he protect our sisters, mothers and daughters, so they can walk this earth with dignity and pride. My name isn't important today, really, but we all stand here together to share one thing in life. Love, love for the human race. I thank Rina for giving me this time and opportunity. Um, me and my wife discussed this um, over a number of weeks, how we should do this. Uh, just a small story. Um, August, September this year, when my wife and daughter, my wife and my daughter, my summer in India for the annual holidays. Story is about Simmi. She was, um, she's my, um, she's my niece. They was playing outside the house, like normal kids do. Um, she was lured away by a, by a, a bend, bends uh, mund off on the same bend. Um, she was lured away into the house. Um, you can imagine what happened next. Um, her clothes were ripped off. Actions. I don't really want to describe what happened to her. She screamed so loud, and um, as she ran back to the house, with half her clothes hanging, and um, the news would be reported what had happened to her. And uh, my brother-in-law and my mother went round to the boy's house with a load of other people, and they completely pulverised him. They beat him so badly that they nearly left him for dead. And afterwards, there was a pajet where where all the elders got together and we wanted to report this to the police. We was told not to report this to us. We'd, 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 we'd had pressure put on us that we should not go to the police and take this any, fur, any further. Um, and if this can happen to a seven-year-old girl, you know, I just thought I'd tell my story. Um, if we don't stick together, our, wife, our lives are not worth living and we must help all our sisters and brothers. Thank you.